Yesterday when I was baling hay, I went to throw some net wrap I had off and I went to dump it as I was pulling back and I kind of hit it at an angle and I popped out one of the, the, the cords in there, the cables. And uh, luckily uh, the, the landowner was there and one of the, uh, the neighbors and, and a friend was there and we kind of got it fixed, but I need to mess with it. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you what is inside of here and how all this works. And uh, I'm, I think I messed the lock up on it too. Actually, I know I did because I, I dumped some net wrap back on the cab last night. So maybe we can fix that while we're in there. But it's pretty straightforward. There's a nut right here, which I just took off. And there's another one where you at? right there. And we're going to take those off and pop this cover off. Then we'll show you the inside of this thing. So the first thing that's going to happen whenever you take this bottom one off right here is there's some spacers in there. There's three of them on mine, and I assume it'll be the same for yours. So what they're going to do is they're going to fall down in that little cavity, and you can get them out. You just kind of got to finagle it a little bit. That's really all that holds that on. There's two two washers on the top. You got a small one, and you got a small uh, and a smaller one. And then that is what holds on the case on there. This is where your your two washers are, and there's three spacers down here. If you can see, they kind of fall down in this little hole. You can get them out. It's just a pain. Now, if you've got a, a right door kit, if you've got an M series or a uh, um, or if you bought the, the door kit, which I have not because it's really expensive, then this will be no problem. You can open up that door and do it from over there. Uh, but I don't have that. So you kind of got to finagle around in here a little bit, but it's completely doable. You know how I know? I already did it once. Next thing you want to do is kind of take this little zip tie, flip it up, and you can pull this rubber sheath off of here. And if you do it right, you can just roll it up right there. All right, see, so we got that turned around. We're not going to take that off because we'll lose it. And this is what's going on in here. You've got your lock, which comes down and fits in that little hole right here. See how that works? So if you've got this straight up and down, you can twist your lock, and that's the lock and mechanism that that uh, locks your, your joystick. Now, what actually happened yesterday is there's some little clips right here on the, the side. You got one right there, and you got one right here, and that holds your, your cables or linkage or whatever you want to call that. And, uh, and I basically just popped this one out, and so the linkage was was not catching. That's what holds it and allows you to move it. And what I'm going to do today is, is kind of reset it. You see right there how it's higher. That just means that my joystick is forward a little bit more. So I'm just going to pop this out real quick. There might be a special tool, but I don't have it. So I'm going to use some needle nose pliers, maybe a screwdriver and pop this out. And then we're going to reset this cable. Here it is. We're just going to grab it right here and pull. And you can see what that does. It just catches it. So let's move that cable down just a little bit. Set that right there. Okay, we got that, I think, where we want it. And then we're going to pop this thing back in. All right, it's still not where I want it. Let's look at it some more. Got a little cap. I guess I popped that off whenever I did it. 
Let's pull it out one more time. All right, that's out. We're gonna drop it. Let's see if we can pull this. Well, you know what we'll do? We'll look at the other one and see where it's seated at. Oh, yep. Yeah. So look, see our threads on there? Now look at this one. It's just come up some, so we're gonna have to thread it down a little bit. See the difference? That one's all the way through, and this one's threaded at the bottom. Watch it move when I move the joystick. See? So we're just gonna set it where we want it and then we'll put the clip back in. I think that's about right. So, we'll put this one in first. Then we'll put the one that wasn't a pain in. Yeah, that's where we want it at. And that's all it is to it, folks. So I, I guess what that means is you can take that out and you can set this to where it's most comfortable for you just by moving these clips down here and moving your, your linkage or your cables, whatever you want to call them. We're just going to put this back down and, and put it back together. And let's see, let's just check this while we've kind of got it apart. We're going to see if uh, our locking mechanism works. You don't have to pull this down, but just for sake of... Yeah, everything works unlocked all right that's how you do it folks don't forget hit the subscribe button we'll post some more videos like this god bless y'all have a great night